I mounted um, the controller to the rack by using three uh, self-tapping uh, screws <clears throat> that have a, a rubber a rubber washer underneath the head. Uh, so there's two there's two up here in the front and one in the rear. And I used uh, a nut as a spacer, so you can see there'll be air, there should be airflow um, underneath the um, the controller, keep it cooler. And uh, I also added as a, as a secondary feature a cable tie that holds it onto the rack uh, at each end. <clears throat> to remove uh, the right hand grip to install the throttle, I just uh, lifted the, the edge of the hand grip, put a screwdriver in there and poured some water into it. And that allowed me to rotate it and slide it off. Uh, and I'm going to put the, the half throttle uh, back onto the handlebar. My bike has the brake levers integrated into the shifters, so I was not able to replace the brake levers with uh, the brake inhibiting or the brake in, uh, inhibitors. Which, uh, on a bike that has these separate, you can actually set it up so that the motor uh, disconnects from the controller whenever you hit the brakes so I, I set up the levers uh, separately you know I guess as like an emergency cutoff on both sides so you know my hand is down here applying the regular brakes and shifting but I can reach up and um, and pull on the on the brake inhibit um, switch and uh, I'm assuming it's gonna work uh, as uh, as expected but anyhow I did have to uh, you know s slide the original shifter and brake lever off put in the brake inhibit switch and then uh, put the brake brake levers and shifters back on and then the throttle on this end and then I ran the wires you know along this uh, channel here on top of the coroplast and I'm gonna cover this up uh, with another piece of coroplast later once I run all the wires through it so the, the position of the, the brake levers and the shifters is uh, somewhat different from uh, stock but it's, uh, you know, it's a compromise that has to be done to, to get it to fit on a, on a specific bike. To mount the APM display what I did is I, <coughs> I removed uh, the top bolt here on, uh, on the handlebar bracket <coughs> and um, I had to trim the the bracket it comes with so that it would fit um, fit uh, into this slot here and the bolt would go cleanly cleanly through it so just modify this bracket for <coughs> your specific bicycle to make sure that it uh, it uh, it fits in the slot while allowing the bolt to go through and I also added a couple of um, nylon washers that I that I trimmed also I, I trimmed the bottoms off so that the bolt would also go through and I tightened it back up and it's uh it's on there nice and sturdy. I also bent it bent it a bit after mounting it, you know, to get the angle <coughs> to a more comfortable viewing position. Once I'm actually riding on it I'll, I can adjust that, that angle further. I'm going to have to uh take the Dremel tool to this um uh rear derailleur hanger. As you can see it it uh extends a little bit into the dropout and I was having a lot of trouble um, getting the axle to to sit right so I'm gonna take the Dremel tool to that open it up a little bit it really won't affect anything as the hanger is uh, has a uh, a lot of metal in this direction so taking a tiny bit off here won't, won't, won't affect uh, its durability I don't think So I finished mounting everything short of the battery in the Phoenix 2 uh, cruiser kit. Again I mounted uh, 
the motor or rather the wheel the new wheel and motor into uh, the bicycle and uh, the double kickstand the the motor controller on this rear rack the half throttle half twist throttle the APM display the brake inhibits basically an emergency cutoff switch uh, for the motor and I ran all the wire uh, some notes on the wire management you know, all the wires from the front controls I cable tied to the stem here and for the the motor wire you know, I kind of wrapped it wrapped the loop around the rack here so you know to take up the length I cable tied it here cable tied it here uh, and then I cable tied it down here and one here one here and a final one here and then uh, all the cables from the front controls you know I ran them through this channel here which is going to have again a cover over it later and I cable tied it here and that's it I'm just uh, waiting for the battery uh, it looks like uh, electric rider might um, upgrade my battery to lithium manganese because they didn't have any um, of the lithium iron phosphate uh, packs or cells ready to build the packs with so rather than make customers wait a very long time they're uh, uh, trying to get packs out uh, as with lithium manganese without uh, upcharging which is a is a good deal for me since uh, the lithium manganese is a, a lighter pack and uh, I am going to be able to get a 20 amp hour pack in here versus a 18.5.